Once upon a time, there was a cobbler whose name was Peter. He used to make beautiful shoes. He had a beautiful daughter whose name was Rose. Once, Peter fell very ill. The doctor advised him to take complete rest for at least six months. So it was very difficult for Peter to work and fulfill his day-to-day -day needs. Rose used to take good care of her father. Rose was fond of wearing different types of shoes. But now, due to her father's illness, she had no shoes to wear. She used to walk bare feet everywhere. One day, she was coming back home from the market. She saw a rich girl throwing a pair of beautiful red shoes. Rose was very happy to see those shoes. She just grabbed them and came home running to her father. Her father said, Throw away these shoes immediately. You should never pick up anything off the road. But Rose was a stubborn girl. She simply refused. She hid those shoes outside the house and started wearing them every day. After a few days, her father passed away due to illness. Rose was very sad. Now she was all alone. She wore her red shoes and started wandering on the streets every day. An old woman used to watch Rose from her window. She was a kind lady, but she had no children of her own. When she learnt that Rose was all alone, she decided to adopt Rose. But she requested Rose to throw away her red shoes as she didn't like them. Rose was very disappointed. But she thought at least she will have a roof over her head and good food to eat. So she agreed. The old woman treated Rose very well. Rose had her own room, a bed to sleep, new clothes to wear and she even got a new pair of shoes. Now Rose started going to school and even made some new friends. She used to study very hard. Rose was happy but sometimes she still missed her red shoes. Years passed. Now Rose grew up into a beautiful young girl. One day, the old lady took Rose for shopping. She brought her new dresses, books, bags and a lot of other things. Finally, they went in a shoe shop. As they entered the shop, Rose saw a pair of beautiful red shoes. She said they are exactly like the shoes she had when she was small. But the red shoes were expensive. The old lady said, Rose, you can buy two pair of shoes in the cost of this one. And the red shoes are very shiny. You cannot wear them everywhere. But Rose was simply being stubborn. I don't want to wear any other shoes. I want these red shoes. Finally, the old lady had to buy those red shoes for Rose. Now, Rose was very happy. On the way back home, she was dancing, singing and laughing with joy. Every day, Rose wore her red shoes to school. Her friends and teachers started gossiping about her shiny shoes. But Rose 
just didn't care. The principal called her and asked her not to wear such shiny and fancy shoes in school. Rose arrogantly answered back, "My feet, my shoes." And she just walked away. And old teacher walking by heard everything. She called Rose and said, "Wow, such lovely pair of shoes." Rose was overjoyed as the old teacher appreciated her shoes. Then she bent down and whispered something to the shoes. Suddenly, the shoes started dancing. They danced and danced. Oh, what is happening to me? Why can't I stop dancing? Her friends were watching everything. They said, "Rose, what are you doing? Stop dancing immediately. This is school. You can't just dance around like a crazy person." Rose said, "Believe me, I want to stop dancing, but I can't. Something is wrong with my shoes." Now the shoes started taking her away from the school. The shoes were not ready to stop. They took Rose on the street to the market. Everyone was looking at the dancing girl and making fun of her. Rose started praying. She was really tired. Her feet hurt. But somehow she managed to reach school. She requested the old teacher to help her. She told her that she had realized her mistake and she will never be arrogant. The old teacher took pity on her. She again bent down and said something to the shoes. And finally, the shoes stopped dancing. Rose thanked her and went home. Now she had learned her lesson. She said to the old lady, I am sorry for all the trouble I have given you. The old lady was happy. They lived together happily.